Arif Mohammed. I'm a contributing editor for CIO magazine. I'm here with Jeff Barrell, CEO of Connected Data. We're talking about data storage and file sharing and how it's changed and evolved over time. Welcome, Jeff. Thanks for having me. Um, we're going to talk about enterprise data today. So if you can just start off, perhaps, tell me a little bit about Connected Data. Sure, yeah. Connected Data is a company we formed back at the beginning of 2012. And the reason we formed it is we could see that there was a new emerging category of, of storage that was being used by everybody, cloud storage, popularized by companies like Dropbox mm -hmm. and Box, that these days have over 400 million people using them around the world. Yeah. So super popular. Yeah. However, you know, these cloud storage services store data up in the cloud. You're not entirely sure where, how private it is, how controlled it is. So it occurred to us for business, mm -hmm. whilst that usage model was great and people were, were enjoying using it, there would need to be systems that could provide that, but under the control of enterprise or under the control of the users themselves. So we found a data to make those kinds of systems. So as you say, um, cloud storage has been the remit perhaps of consumers before enterprises. What is it that's attracting enterprises towards cloud-based storage? Well, the users themselves are, are loving the model. So the previous model for sharing files uh, in businesses or at home or wherever mm. um, has been with us for about 30 years. So in technological terms, it's pretty old. So then services like Dropbox came along and they introduced a whole new way of, of dealing with data and sharing data collaboratively. Um, one of the nice things that they do is that you and I can share a folder and I can call it one thing, you can call it something else. So I can call it Arif, you can call it Jeff, I can put it where it makes sense. You know, people who interviewed me, you can put it in interviewees. And so we can organize our own data even though we're sharing the same contents. We can send large files with links and no more VPNs or sort of cumbersome ways to access the corporate file server. So super compelling uh, in terms of the usage. And at this point, it's estimated that uh, around 43% of people working in companies are using these services completely outside the control of their company. Mm. And so that data is sort of leaking out um, uh, just because the usage model is so compelling. So you're saying that this is a consumer-led initiative, really. IT departments and CIOs in particular are really concerned about the security of their enterprise data. How do you reassure them that uh, this model is a safe one to use? Well, I don't. Uh, you know, and we don't think it is. I think if you look at the news over the last, uh, uh, you know, definitely year and a half, um, there's just been incident after incident where cloud data has been, you know, hacked or made publicly available. Um, you know, huge instances where, you know, Dropbox had tens of thousands of user files deleted irrevocably um, with no protection. There was the whole Jennifer Lawrence scandal last year which hit the public headlines where, you know, even Apple's cloud service, you know, a huge corporation like that uh, was hacked and a lot of, you know, you know very sensitive data was uh, placed into the public domain. Um, so there's been a lot of sort of high-profile instances where the cloud has just, you know, exposed user data. Um, but the problem has been for enterprises, you know, all the other users are, you know, are, are loving these new services and the way that they work. There's nothing really that enterprises can buy that works like that. All of the sort of traditional enterprise equipment, which is still what I, you know, IT folks are depending on, um, still works the old way. File shares, you know, shared data, the, the, you know, the way it was done, you know, 20, 30 years ago. Um, so there hasn't really been anything for them to buy, and that's why we, we founded Connected Data, to try and meet these two worlds together. So tell me about Transporter. So Transporter, you know, brings these two worlds together. So it's an enterprise file system that any business can deploy. They start very small. We have individual units and then units for small businesses and units for larger businesses. So they have all the traditional security that they used to with storage. They buy these systems. Uh, they deploy them in the data center or they deploy them in the office. It keeps the data safe. They know exactly where the data is, how many copies there are, how it's being maintained. But for a user, it looks just like Dropbox or any other cloud service. So all the things they love about that service they can get whilst being a great you know, corporate citizen and providing you know, the enterprise with the, uh, the protection it needs around its data. So, so tell me a bit more about um, compliance and data auditing. How would this solution uh, help CIOs to make sure that they can meet their governance requirements? Well, the governance requirements for businesses have just been getting worse and worse. Mm. Um, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's hard work being a CIO these days, especially if you're in any kind of public organization where everything's audited. Um, you have to ensure that data is kept, you know, especially confidential data, employee records, you know, patient records, depending on the kind of business you are. Those things are, you know, very regulated. You're audited. You have to make sure that they're protected. And so with this proliferation of cloud services, it's super hard to, uh, to do that. Additionally, you know, there's been an enormous amount of press 
um, around you know secret services accessing you know confidential data and government data and other things and so as a result of this you know a lot of countries now have uh, actually you know started implementing further regulation on businesses about where they can store data and how it can be stored even now defining the locality of data so countries like Germany and Canada and Japan, uh, you know, and, you know, and maybe soon uh, the UK too, have enacted data, you know, laws saying that data has to reside in country, uh, certain classes of data. And so again, with cloud services, where you have, you know, almost no visibility into where that data is being stored or moved to, um, that just that really doesn't work to meet any of this new legislation. So again, you know, with Transporter offering an on-site solution that uh, the company can can maintain itself. If all your transporters are located in Germany, then you know your data is located in Germany and it's completely uh, safe and you're meeting your regulations. So you mentioned mobility. A lot of employees want to access their information wherever they are on their mobile devices. How do you cater for that? Uh, so uh, these days there are people who just use smartphones or tablets to access the data. And I think as we move into the future that will become more and more standard. Because it started off that it was you know, a smartphone. It was a phone that was a little bit smarter than the phone used to be. But these days, they're really mobile computers. And we're seeing more and more software now get released you know, either first on these smart devices or at the same time. Uh, even you know, uh, you know, very complicated pieces of software like new video games are being released on the Xbox and on the uh, iPhone at the same time. So these devices are very, very sophisticated now. And uh, you know, they're a first-class citizen. Microsoft released Word and PowerPoint and Excel now for both Android and iOS. So they're a first-class citizen. And so a lot of people just interact with their data through these smart devices now. And so wherever you are in the world, they need to be able to connect to the storage. And that's been a huge problem. And legacy storage systems just can't support that. There's very little way that you can get that data onto those mobile devices. But the new wave of storage devices, like Transporter or the public cloud services, it's integrated 100% in. So you're, you know, wherever you happen to be, you're in a hotel, you're talking to a friend, you need to pull up something, a photo, you need to pull up a PowerPoint or a Word document, you can just get it right then, right there, and produce it. So you're connected to all of your data whenever you need it. Great. That's great. Thank you, Jeff, of Connected Data. Thank you for your time. Thanks very much.